Hey guys, so I have one, two, three, four tumblers to glitter right now. Um, we're going to do three of them the epoxy method and one of them the um, tacket method. So I'm going to start with the tacket method because I like to do two layers and I like for it to have time to dry. So this is the one I'm going to use tacket on. Oi. And this is a wet and wild brush. I got it from Dollar Tree. Although I just realized I was sitting here thinking, oh, I got such a deal. I paid a dollar, but I'm not sure that a dollar is that great for one brush, but it's fine. It's less expensive than the Mod Podge brush that I was using previously and that I pulled all the bristles out of. And no, I'm not sure how I did that. Okay, so obviously you can see I use straight tacket. I do not use, um, I do not water it down. I use this, this straight product. All right, so I'm just gonna put that there, flip that upside down because this will need, I put a second layer on it. Now what I like about this brush is it's really soft. So it's going to help reduce you getting lines with the tacket. So we're just gonna spread it all over the cup. Now, when I first started doing this, I did not realize you could do two layers or three layers or five layers. I mean, whatever floats your boat. So I, uh, I had trouble at first and I didn't like doing Tacket because I had so much trouble, but I found using straight Tacket and um, doing two layers was what works for me. And so I went up and down the first time. Now I'm just going around trying to make sure we don't have any spots. So we don't want any spots. And I think the edges here are the hardest. They're my least favorite to do. All right, so we got that both ways. All right, I'm going to go rinse my brush out and then I'll be right back so that we can start working on the other tumblers while this dries. All right, so my brush is drying. And now the next thing we're gonna do is I want to um, mix a custom color because the color that I was looking for, I don't have. So I am going to mix these two colors and it's Golden Oaks and Blondie, both from Glitter and Grand, until I get the color I want. So. Not this light, not this dark. <laughs> Maybe I am. All right, one thing you should know about me is I have really bad fingernails and I use them all the time so they never actually get any better. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so. I think we're going to need a lot less of that and a lot more of this. Oh, I think that looks awesome. 
I'm going to make just a little bit more because I'm worried that that's not going to be enough for what I'm making. So we'll put a little bit more of that in. A little bit more of this in. And that feels like that's going to be plenty. Okay. Put those there. Get these out of the way because we're done with them. All right. So I need to go grab my tea strainer because it's not in here. And I'll be right back. All right. And we are ready to move on. So... I am going to mix enough epoxy to do, I have two 30 ounces, and, well actually I have three 30 ounces and all three of them are different sizes. <laughs> I just realized that. Right, let me get my epoxy. Not that one. There it is. So I do not like to use fast set when I'm glittering. I, um, I like to have plenty of time. All right, five, 10, 15. So I'm gonna make 20, just in case. And this is CC DIYs. Um, this one is the medium viscosity. I use the medium and the thin, not for any other reason other than when I was running low on epoxy, the medium was out of stock and so I got the thin. It was really six one half dozen another to me. It didn't make any difference. So I think I'm going to do the really difficult one last because it's just, I can tell it's going to be bad. And my husband came up with the design, so I'm going to cuss him the entire time. I know normally you would not mix your epoxy like this, but because it's just the glitter layer, I do not stress about having bubbles or anything like that. I just need it together. All right, I don't see any swirls, so it is mixed. So this is the first one we're going to do and you can see it's been base painted um, white with a green ombre and I want just the thinnest coat of epoxy on it.
Yes, babe. One of these are the easiest. Middle one, the middle ones, or the big one. The top one, the yellow with blue writing. Okay. That's all. Yes. Okay. You can do it, buddy. All right, so you can see I'm just making sure we have a nice thin, thin, thin layer of epoxy all the way around. Good job. Okay. Put that one to the side. Amazing, baby. And now on to this next one. So this is another 30 ounce. You can see the colors are very different. This is actually a Ozark Trail one. Crazy, babe. I'm so proud of you. I swear, I paid so much money for this thing to hold my cups. I don't like it. <laughs> I have not found that amazing thing that works for me yet. I will one day. This one looks like she has a nice thin, thin, thin layer. I'm just gonna check right around these curves because the last thing we want is for the curves. Honey, you are amazing. I'm gonna say, is there gonna be enough room here for me to put this without them hitting? The answer to that was a negatory. All right, and one more, the bane of my existence. And this is a 30 ounce hog doll. This one's gonna be a peekaboo and it looks like it's gonna be a good thing since I like did not get the brown on there very well. In my defense though, it was dark outside. and <laughs> I couldn't really see what I was doing. <laughs> this is what happens when you decide to spray paint at night. All right, so we have the three that need epoxied, epoxied. And remember I mixed 20 milliliters? There's 15 left and I did 330 ounces. So you don't need a whole lot. I'm gonna let this sit and bubble out and I'll put it in a mold and see what it does. All right, so. Now we need to get our second layer on this. Like, do you know how bad I just want to stick my finger up in there and pull this out? But 
I'm trying to not be such a messy crafter. Let's try not to get stuff everywhere. I mean, I'm not saying that it's always going to be a possibility, but it would be nice. All right. And here's my brush. Now it's still a little wet, so this is going to be diluted a little bit, but that's perfectly fine. It's not going to hurt anything. You hear my children starting to fight? So much fun. What? Damn, what's going on? Dane? Okay. Apparently I'm talking to myself. I always wonder if that means they worked it out and decided not to bring me into it. Or, like, if they just blew up and then now they're fine. thick spots. I got to get those out or it's going to look funny. I'm going to go wash my hands, clean my brush, and we'll be back and get to glittering. All right, and we're back. So I actually have decided to do the tumbler that is not an ombre first, and that's not the tacket, um, because I think that because it's a chunky glitter, it's going to like go everywhere. It's going to, I don't know. I just, so I'm the kind of person who will save one pepperoni to the very end so that my last bite of pizza has delicious pepperoni on it. Whereas like my kids do the opposite. They eat the pepperonis off the pizza and then like you have to negotiate to get them to do the rest. <laughs> so I'm not like that. I'm the opposite of my children. All right, so this one first. I'm really not looking forward to this. We can do this. All right, so this is Counterculture Uncle Sam. I'm actually going to flip this back a little bit just so you can see my sexy pants. Apparently it works better when there is no one of these inside. All right, last time we did this, it was terrible. We can do this. So this is man glitter, in case you haven't figured that out. And this is going to be a peekaboo. So this is actually going to be the bottom layer of the peekaboo. And why I decided to do this was to test my patience. <laughs> There's really no other way to say it because trying to get this flat underneath of paint is going to be insane. Alexa, do not disturb off. 
Alexa, do I have a notification? Okay. Hey boys, why is a dog barking? Like how nobody answers me. So Alexa beeped. The dog started barking. But none of the cameras are going off, so I'm guessing it's just a squirrel. That's what we're going to go with. I run out. Oh, that sucked. Guys, oh, this was a terrible idea. I can already tell this cup is going to make me cry. Okay. Let's get that up out of the way and then we're definitely going to flatten it and flatten it and maybe flatten it again. With the handle, it's not gonna flatten well. And that's why I'm gonna cry. It's fine though, it's gonna be fine. All right, so we're gonna flatten because I have a rim on this one. Flatten, pull, flatten. That's the plan. Okay. Dear Counterculture, can I please have man glitter in extra fine? Please. Please. Super please. Ow! That one poked through the stupid paper. Stabbed me. the handle. You guys have any ideas? Because I really do not. Push there and then push here and wrap maybe. And then here. Okay, that needs to be dumped. Oh god. It's a good thing the base color works well with this. That's all I've got to say right now. Okay. Let's pull the liner I have on it. The edge. I don't know why my brain is just like not thinking of the word. Baby, you are amazing. He's excited that he's counting to eight when he can already count to 12. Whatever. Okay, down. I'm gonna keep this clean. Push anything that's up in. Hey, hey, calm it down. You just calm it down. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do this. Thank you. Okay, 
now we're gonna let that dry and move on see I told you this one was gonna make a huge mess I knew it was I could feel it in my bones out on the floor that would have sucked all right we're going to change my right hand glove because that's the one that I uh, was into that glitter with I definitely don't want to mess that up all right let's see let's do the white next because it can be the most finicky And that way we're not having contamination issues also. All right, so we're gonna do green first, white first, green first, white first. Do green first. Glitter and Grand, Cloverfields. Hey guys, you're supposed to be learning something, not tickling each other. Tickling each other, we're learning. If I have to go out there, I'm gonna have to hurt him. Boys, do I need to come take tablets? Dean, come here, now! What? What are you doing? I told you to stop. Well, I told you guys to quit tickling. Get a towel and clean it up. hanging there. I just got green glitter on it. That's fine. All right, now I'm just going to put this green glitter paper to the side because there's a possibility we may need more of it. All right. And let me take and tap this about to death so hopefully I don't have any contamination.
Okay. I'm nervous. All right, so there's no label on this one, but it's spinet brand, and it's just, they're white. Really? And like I said before, works better without these in it. Much better. My children are silent after just being psychos, and now I'm really worried. You think they're destroying my house? Probably. In the world is that? Oh, got a big chunk in there. All right, so I'm just making sure I have a good full coverage of that white. And then I'm gonna tap it over here over the trash can because what comes off will probably have some green in it. And we don't want that in our um, glitter bottle. We don't wanna contaminate all of our glitter. That's bad. I've done it. It's terrible. <coughs> I don't even feel like that needs another coat of green. Let me check it out a little closer. Let me clean the white up. I'm paranoid about getting something in my white. Mm, excuse me. I'm not seeing any spots. All right, so this one actually, after um, this dries, when I put a layer of epoxy over it, I'm gonna sprinkle this, which is Peridot by Martha Stewart. I think that's how you say that word, um, on it. And right, like right here to diffuse that even more. Okay, so two down, two to go. All right, now I saw this idea yesterday when I was scrolling through Pinterest. So I just thought it was so pretty. And I had this Walmart one that I don't usually use sitting around. Look at that. There's a bug on it. Stupid. Matt, you're committing suicide, buddy. Not in my office. <gasps> Butthole. Anyways, I thought it was pretty, so we're going to make it. I apparently was having trouble painting this brown last night. So, lesson learned. No more spray painting in the dark. Got it. I'll have to tell you what this one was. This is Glitter and Grand Forest. And I debated using this or um, dirt, both of which I really like from them. Ho -ho. There's another bug on the bottom. What in the world? Maybe. Maybe not. 
Nope, that was just a piece of like road glitter sitting up weird. Okay. We're good now. Alright, tapping over the trash can. Man, when my husband takes the trash out this week, he's going to have some nice, beautiful, colorful little trash to take out. Alright, come on. So, if you guys decide to buy um, containers, I definitely recommend these from Amazon over these from Michaels. Um, because the popping on and off I have trouble getting it off. And so it's really difficult for me. I did not angle that at all. Wow. Wow, Crystal. Just wow. I was so excited about the bottom that I forgot to um, do this. What's this word? Ombre it. I think that's gonna be good. Who let's do it again. And again, I'm just gonna set this to the side. I still have the green up there, but we're done with that, so we're gonna chuck that. And then the top is going to be that mixture that you watch me make first. And I'm just gonna shake that up now that the container's closed. See how well it works? I don't know if you can see that, but it shook glitter all over me. And then I just took that and dumped that on my lap. Bright crystal, real bright. Okay. Now I'm like having a heat attack. <gasps> So my office is warm in the summer and cold in the winter. And since it's cold in the winter, I actually have to run heaters in here because of using epoxy. You can't let it get too cold. And I'm inside my house. I'm not in the garage. I'm in the house. It just hates me. What, babe? Look at him. I did that by myself. You are amazing. Is that ABC Mouse? Well, that's games with ABC Mouse. That's fine. That's fine. I told you. That's fine. As long as you're on ABC Mouse, that's fine. Now we need to do the ombre. Fix how I'm holding my hand, right? So I was holding rocks yesterday, and now my hands don't want to work today. All right, and I'm going to knock this off over the trash can and double check that we have full coverage. And we do, it's looking amazing. All right, so this one does have a um, edge also. So get this edge done.
and clean it up. Right, set this one to the side, and then we're going to be on Mom, to the daffy one. Yes, I, baby. I paused something. This for you, Aaron. <laughs> like it? I do. I love it. You're amazing. I'm making it. That's for you. You're amazing. I know. Okay. All of these up out of the way. I need to label that one. It's a Wolfstone Custom. <laughs> All right, we just need to be down to the red. We're not going to need this because there's no edge on it. We're not going to need that. I ended up not using this, which was awesome. I'm just going to take this and dump any of the glitter off of it into the floor. Yes, baby. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I like the snapping. You like snapping? Yeah, it's cool looking. I like the snapping too. All right. All right, so last but not least, we have the Tacket one. And I got a new glove, but my hands are sweaty. So let me try to dry them off on my pants a little here. <laughs> it's terrible when your hands are too sweaty. I got some else cool for you. <laughs> nice. I don't think I could do that. I'd fall on my face. <laughs> All right, baby, let mommy get back to work. I love you. Yes, you can. Mommy can't. I'd fall and die a little. All right. Well, I think I got it on. We're good. All right. So there is still some white parts on this. See this? So this is not dry enough yet. Um, here's my heat gun. So I'm just going to take my heat gun and dry it. Nice, baby. So now all the white spots are gone. We can put glitter on it. I lost the glitter. There it is. All right. So this is Ruby by Glitter and Grand. By the way, obviously I am going to be recommending Glitter and Grand if you need glitter. They are currently running on low stock, but they will be up and running and their glitter is amazing and their pricing is amazing and the owners are amazing and they just had a really cute baby so yeah you know i was just thinking i don't think i've ever 
can you do the tacket method with chunky glitter? I think I've seen a video of people doing it, but I've never done it. I wonder what that would look like. Alexa, stop. As you can tell, I'm getting low on this. So all I'm going to do is put it back in the bottle and then, oh gosh. Next time I should hit the bottle, huh? Put this here. Try again. There we go. I think part of my problem is my back is hurting so bad I'm nauseous. Stupid rocks. Stupid, stupid rocks. All right, full coverage, looking good. Now this, because it's one color, I can tap right here to save that, what fell off. The tailings. God, you can tell me. <laughs> one, we watch Gold Rush, and two, my, um, my husband's in the scrap metal business, and so I just sort of showed that <laughs> with all that. Anyways, all right, now for the fun part. This is what I love about Tacket. I also recommend you wear gloves when you do this. Some people don't, which is fine. I prefer to wear gloves so I don't get glitter on my hands. See, glitter everywhere. And when I take my glove off, I'm sure there will be glitter there too. I have no idea. And this is how you do. Rub, 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 rub. Not right now, baby. After lunch, we'll go outside and move rocks. Yep. I don't. My back hurts. You know what I was just thinking? I think I've seen somebody use, um, like, a, the spatula face mask things on these before. I'm not going to do that. I was just, just saying. It's 
So you see how amazing that's looking? Now you can see I haven't gotten it all off, but look at that. Oh, I love it. So just so you can see how hard I'm pressing, I've pressed through my glove, <laughs> which is fine. So I have to say, this is not a great cup to have arthritis with. Okay, hand stretch. Oh. I think the hardest part with this is I want to put my nails in it, but you can't. You have to stick to the pads of your fingers. And is in sight. Now 
All right, and there we go. And this is ready to be epoxied. It's completely smooth, by the way. I mean, you can run your hand over it. If you were very confident in what you were doing, you could decal and then epoxy. But since I'm going to be doing, um, this is gonna be another poison apple one. Since I'm going to be doing a poison apple one, I wanna have a layer over this before I put my stencil vinyl down and then have to pull it up because that's gonna be semi-violent. All right, so there we go. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed watching.